go back a long time. I was playing in a duet with a with a harmonica player named David Bergen, and uh, Norton had his band, the Stampede, and we used to do a lot of shows where we opened for the Stampede, Great American Music Hall, all around the Bay Area, the Keystones, and uh, I met Norton back then, so we I've known him for over 25 years. Hard to believe. Let's do Long Hard Road. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. It's a joy to play with Norton because he'll throw licks at me and then I'll play notes back at him and we'll just see where the music goes. Norton is a player's player. He's a virtuoso of the harmonica. He has his own approach like nobody else. People are just attracted to how he communicates through his music and also certainly through his vocals. So I leave here back to the darkness from which I came. We're great friends and we always look to kind of stretch the music, you know, with a guy like Norton and a guy like me, we're always looking to, to stretch the music and take it someplace different. Roy style of guitar playing, well, I like to say it's like a freight train with no brakes. It's totally natural. I mean, Roy and I are, are really uh, cut of the same cloth in a lot of ways. With Roy, there's never been any uh, ego battle kind of stuff. It makes getting on stage something I really look forward to. Norton and I haven't been in the studio for about 10 years, hard to believe. We're in a studio as we speak here. This came together rather quickly. Uh, I had some ideas, Norton had some ideas. It really was a, a joint venture though, all the way. And that's more the case with this recording than previous recordings that we've done. On some of the previous records, it was like I brought in these songs and Roy brought in these songs and it, it sort of became a pile of my songs and his songs. This song, we still had some of my songs and some of his songs, but we also co-wrote. And in the stuff we co-wrote, there's a, there's a real magic that happens. Even though we did it in the studio, it doesn't feel like a studio record. It doesn't feel stiff. You never really know how it's going to end up until you're right there in the studio. Some songs called for a rhythm section, so we have an upright bass and a drum kit. Once we're in the studio, we like to have that, that spontaneous feel that's as, as the basis for the recording. You know, it's a lot about rhythm. It's a lot about blues, it's, but it's a lot about Americana on this record. We've really stretched it. We've, we've had folk-flavored songs on our records before. I think this record even went farther in that direction with some of the songs we have. This record is a really a, an American record. Even as we mature, we gain more musical knowledge and our breadth of styles broadens. We're both simplifying it when we do the duet back down to the basics. And, and that's what's so beautiful about this, is that it's, it's the root of, of what, what our music is all about. Man, I, I'll tell you, we're, we're both delighted with how the record came out. It's gonna be great to, uh, 
to try to relearn them again and, and uh, learn them all over so we can play them live, right? <laughs> Spontaneous combustion, that's what they call that.